first phase would last for six weeks. Here's what it would include. A full and complete ceasefire. A withdrawal of Israeli forces from all populated areas of Gaza. Release of a number of hostages, including women, the elderly, the wounded, in exchange for release of hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. There are American hostages who would be released at this stage, and we want them home. Additional some remains of hostages who have been killed would be returned to their families, bringing some degree of closure to that terrible grief. Palestinians, civilians, would return to their homes and neighborhoods in all areas of Gaza, including in the north. Humanitarian assistance would surge, with 600 trucks carrying aid into Gaza every single day. With the ceasefire, that aid could be safely and effectively distributed to all who need it. Hundreds of thousands of temporary shelters, including housing units, would be delivered by the international community. All that and more would begin immediately. Immediately. During the six weeks of, of Phase 1, Israel and Hamas would negotiate the necessary arrangements to get to Phase 2, which is a permanent end to hostilities. Now, I'll be straight with you. There are a number of details to negotiate to move from Phase 1 to Phase 2. Israel will want to make sure its interests are protected. But the proposal says if the negotiations take longer than six weeks, the for phase one, the ceasefire will still continue as long as negotiations continue. In the United States, Egypt and Qatar would work to ensure negotiations keep going. All agreements, all agreements, until all the agreements are reached and phase two is able to begin. Then phase two, there would be an exchange for the release of all remaining living hostages, including male soldiers, Israeli forces would withdraw from Gaza. And as long as Hamas lives up to its commitments, a temporary ceasefire would become, in the words of the, proposed, the Israeli proposal, the cessation of hostilities permanently, end of quote. Cessation of hostilities permanently. Finally, in phase three, a major reconstruction plan for, Ga for Gaza would, would commence. And any final remains of hostages who have been killed would be returned to their families. That's the offer that's now on the table. 